The Book of Daniel, Chapter 9. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of Mids, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years, whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Jer Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confessions and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned and we have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from the precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants, the prophets, which make in thy name to our kings, our princes and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongs unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the through all the countries, whether thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongs confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yes, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even thy departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words, which he spoke against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing us a great evil, for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. And it is written in the law of Moses, All this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore has the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us, for the Lord our God is righteous in all his works which he does, for we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned as at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from the city Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because of our sins. and for the iniquities of our fathers. Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now therefore, O our God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications, and cause thy face to shine upon the sanctuary that is desolate, for the Lord's sake. O my God, incline thine ear, and hear, open thine eyes, and behold our desolations, and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee with our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, hearken and do. Defer not for thine own sake. O my God, for the city and thy people are called by thy name. And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God, for the holy mountain of my God. Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation, and he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. 
At the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth, and I am come to shew thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore understand the matter, and consider the vision. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins, and to make a reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the Most Holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince shall be seven weeks, and three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall even in troubled times. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not from himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Chapter 10 In the third year of Cyrus king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and had understanding of the vision. In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came, out, came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did it anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. In the fourth, twenty-fourth day of the first month, when I was by the side of the great river, which is Hadekel, then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphaz. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as the lamps of fire, and his arms and feet like in the color to polished brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision, for the man that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quacking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words, and when I heard the voice of his words, when, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And behold, a hand touched me, which sat upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one, twenty-one days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand that what shall befall thy people in the later days? For yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground and became numb, dumb. And behold, one like the similitude of the sons of men touched my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spoke, and he said unto him that stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my wit, Lord? As for me, straightway there remained no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. Then came again and touched me once like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. And I said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not, peace unto thee, be strong, yes, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and he said, let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Know thou wherefore I come unto thee, and now I will return to fight with the princes of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Gracia shall come. 
but I will shew thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holds with me in these things, but Michael, your prince. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.